Hey everyone, this is Ferris Flanoy. And this is Caleb Flanoy. And welcome to another episode of Conversations with the Home Care Guys. Yes, yes, yes. Ferris, how's, how's everything going with you today? Man, today's come on really good, man. Had an incredible week. Um, man, I got a <laughs> chance good. to, you know, it's, it's homecoming season. Yes. So yes, got a yes. chance to go to an HBCU homecoming, South Carolina State, and they won. I think Boy, they, that's my school right yeah, there now. Yeah, of course, of course. Yes, yes. South Carolina State Bulldogs. Shout out to South Carolina State. 19, what, 1896. That's when we found it. Okay, that's what's going Blue, come on oh, home up there with Marching 101. The Marching, they did a phenomenal job, man. Um, so took mom out there and the little ones, they enjoyed it. Took so many pictures, they actually got a chance to go through and take a picture with the mascot, the bulldog. Oh, the actual bulldog, that is so good. Oh, my goodness, I remember going to a uh, South Carolina State, I majored in biology there. And um, oh, my goodness, the years, the fun times. My brother, you know, my twin brother Joshua, actually, you know, we attended that school together. Yep. My sister Farrah graduated there, and then my mom is an alumni as well. So this is just uh, it was a great full circle. How did how did Lena enjoy herself? Man, she enjoyed herself. So Lena went, our son Ferris went, okay. uh, Ferris' daughter, uh, Kristen. Farrah, Kristen, everybody went. They had a good time, and it was so important. And I think that's one thing that Mom really actually uh, talks about is kind of that legacy part. Right. And so that right there was so important that she she, she do that because of course, as you know, with COVID nineteen going on. Uh, last year, they, they did not have the homecoming. So it was important right. for her to just to right. get out there and actually just be amongst the uh, other people that graduated or attended uh, state homecoming. All those alumni. It. All yes. those alumni. How was the parade? Did you go? Did, did you see the parade or you didn't see they the parade? They did not have a parade. They did not really? have a parade this year. Um, just like I said, because they're, they're trying to inch back into um, just the normalization of it because, of course, COVID-19 is still here. Right. So, right, right. Um, but uh, pre- precautions were there. Um, like I said it was great food, great fellowship. Of course, they had oh, the grills going. Um, <laughs> the, all the tailgating, all huh? the tailgating. Oh my goodness! Uh, went to Uncle Sammy's house and yes. got a chance to go through. He had the steaks, the hot dogs, the oh, brats, the everything. So, man, it was good, man. But how how was yours? How was your my, week? My, my week was pretty good. My week was amazing, actually. Um, um, I got a chance to see an opera. Okay. So, and the name of the opera was "Fire Shut Up in My Bones." Wow. It was really good. It was by <laughs> uh, Terrence uh, Blanchard, and it was a really, really good, great, great experience. I never been to the opera before. Man, me neither. Uh, but I've been to a couple Broadway shows, mm-hmm. but I never been to an opera, and that was really a great experience. And so, I, at first, I couldn't understand all of the singing because it was like, woo, all of all of this like singing. But they have in the opera. If you ever go to the opera, um, especially the one I went to, I think it was the Metropolitan. You you can um go to. They have like a little um a little a screen that can display the words that the people are actually saying. Wow. And so it really kind of made sense. And I could follow along with the narrative. So it was really, was it really hip hop opera or just like traditional opera. Um, no, it wasn't, tr- it was, it was tr- traditional, but it was an all black cast, which oh. was amazing. And, uh, it was, it was a great experience. It was a mm-hmm. great experience. It's talked about, um, fire shepherd and the bones talked about, uh, this young guy named Charles and how he was pretty much kind of trying to overcome his uh, life's, uh, triggers mm-hmm. and traumas. And it was a great, 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 I would give it 10 thumbs up if I had 10 thumbs. It was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. That's amazing, man. But that kind of kind of bridges us to the conversation that we're having today, man, about legacy, man. And right. I know so many times in life, um, life we, we run through life without even thinking about the legacy that we're, that we're going to leave behind for others to go through and actually cherish the life that we lived in full as well. Right. And I think, uh, again, just kind of spending time with mom this weekend and going out and just kind of seeing how she sparked when she, Hey mom. Exactly. Sorry, no. <laughs> um, but, but, uh, but seeing how she sparked by going down memory lane, going through and seeing the buildings that she um, walked through when she was in college, being able to see some of her classmates, those are the type of things that she wanted to go through and part some of her legacy steps within us so that we can see where she came from and ultimately where we came from as well. So, man, I just want to kind of start the conversation uh, about legacy, man. And um, we'll jump back to our family part. But, you know, over the past week, uh, we lost a a, a a national treasure, Colin Powell. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, Colin Powell, he, he definitely um, he definitely left a legacy, not only for his family, but for a lot of Americans as well to follow as well. But exactly, exactly. You know, I, I did a little research. He was born in Harlem, New York, yeah. and I mean, he was born in Harlem and he was a four star general. Mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, Colin Powell was a guy of leadership. And that's one thing that I think one of the legacies that he's going to leave, not only for his family, but for the world is his leadership. You know, he was he was like he was he reminds me of you, Ferris, like wow. really cool, cool, calm and collected uh-huh. and really had calculated thoughts and very strategic. Mm-hmm. And so I think that that's one of the legacies uh, that Colin Powell will leave. What do you think is another um, another legacy that you feel that he will leave for the world? 
I think one thing I was when I was doing a little research about Colin Powell, uh, yes, being the Secretary of State, yes, being a four-star general, a lot of those things are are are, are tangible achievements that he actually uh, did in his lifetime. But I can only imagine the legacy that he left for his family, wow. because those that are, that are closest to him, like we saw him as this as this big. Big, big personality. Yeah. As a quiet storm, almost this big politician. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so, but I can only imagine his children and his family that he had, that he really had that one-on-one relationship that really genuinely knew him. The stories that he could, that he told them, the, the, the intricacies of that, those are the things that I'm curious about on his legacy part. So, and I know as the years go by, it's going to be a little bit more unfolding of some things that we probably brought to the light, which is a good thing. And, and his contributions to the whole world are, are we already we already realizing that, but we're going to be realizing that even the more as well. But um, it, it's just it's just it's kind of it kind of kind of sparks the conversation of like, man, what type of legacy are are are, are we are, are we building up as well, man? So I guess wow. I'll pose the question to you, man. So like, wow. and, and just that's, thinking that's about a, that, a man, of, yeah. what what is what is what's the legacy that you desire to go through and start building and to leave for those to cherish by? Um, I think, okay, so I, I had, a, I really had to ponder on, on that question um, because I really feel that legacy and making a legacy is so important, especially for uh, yourself in, in, in order to, in, in order to uh, leave a legacy, you have to really know who you are. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and I think that all these people like, uh, like mom and grandma and even Colin Powell, um, they knew who they were. And so I would have liked to say before I answer that question is mom, mom taught us the importance of education. Mm-hmm. And so that's one legacy that she left for us as a as children is the importance of getting education you know my mom has a, a few master's degrees and she was a school teacher and um and she just prided on the importance of making sure that uh she leave a legacy making sure that she always told us told us about the uh, about the car about the big truck making sure you have 18 wheels you know and I, uh, make sure you have a spare tie excuse me make sure you have a spare tie my mom always said you have to make sure that not only get an education but always make a means for yourself and so they're they're just like a car has a a spare tie you want to make sure you have many different ways to make uh, revenue and make uh, make a life for yourself or make income. And so that's what mom taught us, the importance of hard work as well as education. But one legacy that I want to leave for leave for myself, Ferris, is uh, leave for others. I want people to realize that, you know, Caleb actually lived a life, uh, live a life on his terms. Mm. And so um, living life with no regret, living life, um, if that means, you know, uh, experiencing life in different, experiencing different cultures, different travels of different um, uh, ways of life and learning from that. That's one legacy I would like to pass on to my children as well as let everyone know, you know, Caleb, you know, Caleb will hop on a plane. He'll learn about different cultures. He would, uh, that's one legacy that I would like to live, leave. And, and Caleb, I, I think that's so important. My thing is because we're actually building out our legacy as we go. Right. We're, we're actually, uh, the way that we live our lives today is actually what people will reflect upon. I think living out intentionally is actually very important and living out on your own terms because no one wants to go through and live in the shadows of no one else. No right. one, everyone, we, we all came in this world singularly, no matter if you're a twin or not. You came to this world by yourself, right. actually. You have been your own human being and you're going to leave this world by yourself, you being your own human being. And I think it's so important that we go through and kind of reflect on legacy. And it's, it's, it's a responsibility that we have to have as well to know that we're not on this we're not on this earth just for ourselves, and we're not just living our lives just for our immediate families as well. As well, we are a representation of what 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 we're purposed here to go through and become. Exactly. And I, and I think the legacy part, just kind of reflecting on that, is like I thought about okay, well, hey, what type of legacy will I leave behind? For others to cherish and not I specifically said others not just my children not just my wife not just my siblings not just my mom or dad I said others because I think that knowing who you are and knowing the impact that you you make and I'm going to caveat this knowing who I am and knowing the impact that I make I, I am going to make it's right. a it's not just about me my and I but it's very important that others that your your impact and no matter how great or large or whatever it is, your impact may be to impact your community. That's right. Your impact may be just to go through and impact your family. Right. Your impact may be just to be in there for those grandchildren or those children as well. And that's that's awesome right there. But knowing your purpose is actually really important to actually start actually down your legacy journey. Exactly. So so, so one more thing. Well, a few other things. I, talk, I thought, thought about three things that I would leave. So the first thing is living life to the full. The second thing is uh, 
um, the th- the second key key component is love. I want to be I want to leave a legacy of love, mm. and so wherever I go, I want to make sure I impact lives and make sure people know that you know Caleb had a lot of love and support, mm. and so that's one thing I'm learning as I go in this journey. Uh, what love is, as well as um, how to express love and how to be supportive. Uh, Ferris, what's what's a legacy that you want to leave for others as well as your family? One thing that I want to leave for others uh, is. No one. So my purpose that I, I know for my life is to go through. I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur at heart. OK. And so one of my purposes kind of guided through the guys to the guys of entrepreneurship. One of my purposes is to go through and make sure other individuals, other entrepreneurs, the, the, the seed is actually within them. And it, it allows them to go through and bloom and birth into something great. No, no matter how great or small your business endeavor is, my purpose is to go through and actually impact lives, to go, to, go through and see that their dreams can come true. Come on, lives. Come on, lives. And so in, in, in doing <laughs> right. that, and it took a while to go mm-hmm. through and realize that, yes. My, yes, I'm a home care guy. And yes, I work in home care. That's, that's just a part of the purpose as well. But I'm a student of it as well. I'm a student mm-hmm. of entrepreneurship. And so one of my purposes is to be the example so that others can go through and say, well, hey, if Ferris did it, I can do it. Or, hey, Ferris, let's sit down for a cup of coffee. How do I get from point A to point B in business? And lastly, how that's going to trigger and actually affect my family, my immediate family as well, because being a representation for my daughter and my son as well, because if they choose to go down the entrepreneurial road, they'll have an example for that as well. Just like how Colin Powell, if his children decided to go in the military, they had a four-star general as an example for that. So my goal is to be a four-star general in the entrepreneurial world. Oh, I like that. A four-star general in the entrepreneurial world. Well, let's talk about those action steps. Mm -hmm. So let's go into that. What are some action steps that others listening or our viewers listening right now could, could, uh, could do in order to uh, leave a legacy. Exactly. So I wrote, wrote down a few notes about that because the first thing, and this is where you want to go through and actually pull out your notes as well. The first thing you want to do when it comes to actually thinking about your legacy, first you have to self-evaluate. Hmm. What do you truly want to be remembered by? I think a lot of times people, we, we do a lot, we're busy in life, but we truly don't know what we want to be remembered by. Wow. So I think just taking wow. some time, taking a moment, taking a year, take three months, take a day, whatever it is, wow. Identify what you want to be remembered by. And the second thing I think we we discussed this a little bit is now that you know what you want to be remembered by, how would that how how are you gonna convey that to the next to the next generation, to the legacy, to the people that's gonna actually admire your legacy? I know you said you wanna be remembered as someone who who loves and who understands loves. So how are you doing that? There's several modes to go through and do it. You can document your journey in love. Right. You can go through whether it be, hey, you're going through and communicating on video and you're starting a YouTube channel. Or if you're sitting down with the conversation with th- those that you love and you admire and you're telling your story about it as well. Because I think those are some of the things as well uh, to going through this thing about the modality. You can go through and write a book. You can right. write a story to the right. people. So yes. it's just kind of going through and documenting that. And that. you can just show it too. You know, just being present. Being present. So everyone that you encounter, you know, you're saying, you know Caleb took that time. He, he was just so present. He just showed love. He showed support. And so, yeah. No, that, that, that's important because now, really first, important. firstly, as, as you know, like, in Caleb, and, and you can do this, let's say for the person whose legacy is to go through and actually be a baker or right. to be remembered as being a profound baker. Okay, now that you know this, now what are you going to do? Are you going to start writing down your recipes? Yeah. Are you going to start recording videos? Are mm. you going to start uh, spending time with the children or those in your circle and sharing how to go through and bake that that. Nice red velvet cake that grandma actually uh, showed you how to bake. So oh, that sounds so good. Red velvet cake right now. Cake right now. <laughs> like, that's my favorite. It's a banana pudding. Okay. But how, so think about how you're going to record that. And then the last, Caleb, is just like anything, it takes action. Once you go through and thought about right. it and thought about how you're going to go through and convey that message, it's to go through and take action because we all have limited time here. Yes. We don't know when 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 that last breath is going to come. And you don't want to have a, I wish I would have, should have. Yes. You want to go through and say, you know what, I took action. And regardless if the book is written in full or you're at half chapter or one page into it, I believe that the 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 process and that is going to still impact. So regardless if it's one page that your daughter finds out long long after you're gone, mm. or if it's a tr- uh, it's a treasure troll of, of 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 letters that you wrote to a loved one, I think that's the impact and that's the legacy that um wow. that will be remembered by. Well, that's amazing. Well, we're we're wrapping up this episode of of legacy. You know, mm-hmm. just talking about legacy and and what legacy we want to leave to our children and our community and our world. You know, we have impacted so much, so many people in the home care industry yes. uh, from from our care 
caregivers, to our, to our team members, to even the clients and their family members. And, and so I would just encourage you guys to continue to um, take that time for yourself to self-evaluate and realize, you know, what am I doing on a day-to-day basis that's going to allow me to uh, leave a legacy, if that's what you want to do, leave a legacy for your family and for your communities. And so, so Ferris, this is another great episode. Yes. I am really, really loving these episodes. I do want everyone to uh, definitely follow us on Spotify yep. as well as um, all um, platforms where a podcast are uh, viewed and definitely give us a review. Yes. If this if this information is great and you've been just really loving how um, loving the delivery as well as taking something from it, definitely write us a five star review. Perfect, perfect. Caleb, man, well, this, like I said, like, this has been a great episode, man. Appreciate you. We're going to continue to go through and build the legacies that we desire, man. Yes. And I just look forward to go through and on this journey with you. I look forward to going through and going on the journey with you all as well. And just like I said, hearing some of the things that you all are doing. And other than that, man, cheers to this episode, and we're ready for the next one. We're out. All right, take care. Have a good one.